So this video, we're gonna be talking about string escape sequences and template literals. String escape sequences are going to be a gimme. They are incredibly easy to understand and they are used everywhere in software, even outside of JavaScript. So this knowledge will translate into other areas as well too. But there's a couple things that can trip you up about string escape sequences. And the first one is that always remember that the string escape is going to be dictated by a backslash. Always recognize that a backslash is going towards the back and don't use forward slashes because it's really easy to do that. And I've, I've done that before. The next thing is that you just need to be able to know a couple of these string escape sequences. There's like 50 of them, but if you can just get down the most common ones and realize what the most common ones are and how to actually use them, it's incredibly easy. So we'll just go straight into an example. Let's stop talking about theory and let's talk about a real example. So if you were to actually create a new line here, remember you just have a backslash and then you have an N and when this actually compiles, it will compile into a new line. Let's talk about a more common scenario. And the most common scenario is when you have a single quote within a closed out string that also has single quotes. If you use a single quote in the beginning, it has to be done at the end. And if you add a single quote right here, it's going to give you a red line and it's going to close this out. But if you go into here and you add an actual slash to it, what's going to happen is it's going to cancel out that single quote and it will work. And you can do the same exact thing for double quotes as well too. So if you want to escape that, you just add a slap backslash to that and if you want to add a backslash and you don't want it to error, you just add a backslash like that and it will actually allow you to add actual backslashes to your strings. And that was a lot of backslashes there. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the terminal and let's actually practice some of these. Okay, so we are inside of the interpreter. Let's just test out a previous example that we had before and it was just a funny example of grandma says don't shoot the snapping turtle just like this and what happens as you can see here we are getting an error this is trying to close out and it's escaping our string so if we don't want this to happen and we just want to cancel out this exact pop, uh, this exact double quote right here once again all that we do is we add this backslash right here and it's going to allow us to escape it so we can go into here and we can escape it and we can get the exact string that we want to without having to do all types of weird workarounds so by adding that backslash we cancel out this single quote right here and the rest of our string works the next one is going to be that's awesome so if we wanted to just say that's awesome and we wanted to have single quote so we say that's awesome just like this what's going to happen is that it's going to escape it just like our previous example before and if we don't want that to happen all that we do is we go into here we add in a backslash and it will indeed allow us to do it just like we want to so let's do another example they call it an escape character so if we want to add an escape just like this, and we want to add an escape character, all that we do is we just go into here and we add backslashes to the rest of our examples so that it doesn't, once again, it doesn't escape out of it and we can get the exact character that we want to. And would you look at that? What a beautiful string that we have in our terminal. Okay, so now let's actually talk about template literals. And template literals are going to be seen everywhere. And they are another give me, gimme. They are incredibly easy to understand. Template literals, you, I can explain a template literal to you in like in a second. So let's just say sto funny story. We'll call this funny story. And this will be about your favorite place to eat and your favorite animal. So let's just say your favorite animal or my favorite animal is going to be a bullfrog yesterday it was a stingray but today i like i think bullfrogs are cool because they are the largest frog and we'll say let's also talk about our favorite place to eat in this funny story our favorite place to eat and my favorite place to eat is actually my house i just like to eat at my house i'm not a big restaurant person i think it's way easier just to eat at my house so to fill out whichever one that you want though. If your favorite animal is something else, favorite place to eat, it'll make the story way funnier and easier to understand. 
So if I go, there is a huge, let me see here, bullfrog, favorite animal, and we'll fill it in with our favorite animal, and I'll say behind my house, or behind favorite place to eat. That is very cumbersome. And we also get all of these errors right here. And as you could imagine, what if you had a huge story to do this for? What if there was a story with like a, a couple hundred lines? As you could imagine, it would be incredibly difficult. But thankfully, JavaScript gives you this thing called template literals. And make sure you pay attention because these will be used everywhere. And what you can do is this. It's actually a really cool, really handy thing to do. So we'll say favorite animal just like this, and it allows you to template this and not have to add all of those stupid plus marks to it, as bad as that sounds. It's just kind of way that it is. So here, what you wanna do is close it out, have your other template literal right here, and then we'll have our favorite place to eat. And you can see it's way easier to make this. It's way more compact, and you don't have to add all of these spaces it makes actually it makes creating huge strings incredibly easy and it will make your life a lot easier and like i said these two things are total gimmies you learn them here you're going to see them everywhere in software and it's really important to learn so hopefully you paid attention if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button make sure to smash that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching